we're anticipating over 600 participants in this one event. The event we had in August had over 200, and that was with five teams. Two Montreal organizations are reaching out to the community for donations in support of an upcoming basketball tournament dedicated to promoting youth violence prevention and bringing the community together. This event will cost $18,000 to put on. And it's uh, everything from medals to uh, food and accessories. So um, the donations are going through CRAR because they do have a charitable, charitable number and individuals can give back in a, in a very tangible way to uh, that effort. After the success of their first tournament in August, the Center for Research Action on Race Relations and the Jamaica Association of Montreal are getting ready for the second round of the upcoming basketball tournament called Together Against Violence. The two-day events, which will take place on February 24th and 25th, aims to feature more than 20 basketball teams representing many of Montreal's diverse communities. I believe that through sports, we came to provide teamwork and discipline uh, because you know that just being a part of a team, you have to uh, implement some form of discipline. And it's a way to be healthy as well because you're moving, you're being active. And it will give youths a purpose because they will have to uh, play a part into this. We're seeing more violence as the days go by uh, in the West Island, in the East End, in places that we didn't know how to track before. We didn't see a pattern, and now it's becoming we're becoming increasingly aware, especially when we're talking about knife violence. And so these are topics that we really want to bring out during the tournament. The event is open to all and Montrealers willing to donate to the cause or even wanting to shoot a few hoops themselves can get in contact with the Center for Research Action on Race Relations or the Jamaica Association of Montreal for more information. The goal is to build a secure network amongst nonprofit organizations in the city um, network that are connected to institutions that work with victims and that work with uh, at-risk youth. There's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of competition. There's going to be a lot of, you know, sweating on the basketball court. But it's all under the theme of coming together. In Montreal, Sweet Rassi, City News. Uh,